Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to fix our shop so we can actually buy something. Now I know ahead of time because I've tried it and if you go and talk to your character at the moment with the things we've done with the inventory and the classes you'll get a massive glitch and it'll crash. And there are a lot of glitches in it but I'm going to fix them to we, we are going to fix them today and I'll show you what the crash is. So if you have done the exact same as me and you click play you should know it will lock when you click shop then it will turn off. So if you go to your entity here and before I carry on you're going to see um, the words dialogue test quite a bit so you might see the script you might see this. That's literally where it says I'm testing a dialogue script but it will be the ultimate dialogue script. script. So this one script you'll be able to assign as many dialogue audio options as you like and it will create a fully talkative thing before between you and them. So I'll show you that when it's done but yeah. So straight in we're going to open our female text shop and you want to scroll all the way down to your cell part. So I'm just going to close a couple of these so we can get there faster. So yeah so it's easier. So in your cell one here you're going to see it will come down and basically this line here what creates the grids for your um, cell grid um, in, it's blank here so cell get grids if we scroll up it's a private var and it never ever gets filled so that's the one what causes the error for your project so easiest way to stop it causing an error is to make it so it's not private for now and then um, just to sign something in the inspector and that will stop it glitching so we can go and see how bad the damage is so once it loads you'll see you'll get no errors from it in the cell grids here um, you can see uh, we've already got one assigned so an apple four and we'll just assign some oak wood as well while we're here so zero and now let's go and see how badly it is damaged from changing it it shouldn't be too bad but it should stop work so if we go up to it and press Q you'll see that it works, we click a button, we click buy it takes our gold off but does it actually add it to it so if we go back to GUI scripts and we have our apple here player amount, does it increase it? no, so it's not actually buying it so we'll start by making the buying work so we'll close cell here yeah so in here let's see why it doesn't add it to it so we need to find where it says players amount here look so the textures the items that players amount it should add it so if we go and play our game we can now see what damage is done to it so see where we are so if we press Q we should see the missed scripts here so if we watch the apple we'll click it it shows it we can buy one it buys one can we buy two click. so so it looks like that's working so if we buy five Yep, that's clearly working. So we can buy things. So it just looks like it is our cell one what's currently messed up. But it's not showing it at all, even though it should, because we noted it out. So if we go back down and just unnote this. So the buy one works perfect, but can we overfill ourselves so when we run out of money, will it still purchase it? We need to test that one. So press Q. Right, so it's now showing two items what we got, so we press it, and we'll see 99 buy you don't have enough gold perfect let's try 50 perfect can we buy any more right perfect so that buy section pretty much works perfectly it doesn't look very nice but it works so we click the apple on the sell side and as you can see it's going and going and going and it's it's gone and done it all the way through and the reason for this is if you go back down to your sell grid is right if you look at the buy one um, if you buy value is um, not equal to minus one then create a button which does all this whereas if we go down to your cell grids if it doesn't equal this then just do it it does it in a loop so we're going to copy our GUI button here and all we're going to do is simply place the button in here it's really that simple for this one but the only issue is we need to rename this so cell and then every time it says cell button we're just going to, well buy button we're going to rename it to cell button here and that's how we make fix that error. So now you should be able to buy one at once. Tick, 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 one at once, really easily. So let's go and see. So we'll buy 50 of these. Kaboom. And we click the apple, right? It doesn't sell. So we click one. It increases our gold by two. Does it take it away? Perfect. So that's beginning to work. We click um, 
40 and click buy boom perfect we don't get as much gold back but that's how it is in the selling system so we sell two more and it should give us a hundred which is not correct because it's supposed to half it so there's something wrong again there because if we look at our item stats buy price here should be for an apple two then when we sell it it should be one so we should get half back because that's how the economy works it's just making it a bit more lifelike so if we scroll down instantly you can see um, blah 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 underneath here sell amount sell price so the price what we're going to set for two equals the items the item id so get what item we've clicked on's id and everything and then dot buy price but this is in sell so we just rename that to sell that simple now that should fix that error so I'll try again so i've bought 50 apples we click it we sell 40 and we only get 40 gold by perfect so it sells it for half price now we try to sell 20 and it sells it even though we haven't got enough as you can see we've now got minus 40 apples how can we have minus 40 so we need to put an if statement against that to say do we actually have that much so this is really really easy by doing this line here the textures the items the item id dot player amount so we basically check if our player amount is more than the sell amount really simple so here above this if statement and above this price here we're going to put here if the textures the items the items the plain amount um, is equal more than or equal to so if we have 50 or more than 50 so if we try to buy 50 then so if it's equal to or more than then it can carry on but we need to put sell amount yeah so say we buy f sell 50 say can we sell 50 it'll check our inventory do you have 50 or more yes continue but then we need an error so beneath this we're going to type else you do not have that many to sell so she shouts at us that seems reasonable enough let's try it so i've just bought 50 and then and we're going to sell a 60 back sell you don't have that many to sell oh dear we'll have to sell 50 then boom perfect can we sell any more nope sorry we don't have enough so that bits worked perfectly but now the only issue is is if we show our inventory at the same time and we go to the apples and say we buy five and click buy it adds it that works perfect but then what happens if we click sell so we sell five nothing happens we haven't got zero but it's still there so we need to fix that on our items inventory and this is really really simple but then what we're going to have to do after that is show our actual inventory in this cell box here so we'll click it and we'll go and open our inventory GUI so what we need to do in order to actually grab so right um, halfway through we have the function get icons we're going to copy that whole function and paste it into female text shop so we can use it here so this works really well except we need to modify it slightly so here where it says icons.grids, we need to change it from grids to player inventory. Right like that one. Dot grids. And the reason we're using player inventory is right at the top. We have a variable said player inventory, which links us straight to the inventory GY. So that'll scan all of them and set these icons to it. So we've officially dragged our icons across. We put it in, it'll officially show these icons here, but it will get an error. Because if we scroll up, once we've copied this and stuck it in here, just like we did last time, it'll come across and say, right here, um, item ID equals parsing cell grids. And we're about to delete cell grids now. So it will not understand where it is. It won't understand what cell grids is because we've deleted it. So we need to somehow find the ID of the object. And this is, again, is a slightly more code, but still really simple. So down here, we're going to type for int well var y equals zero y is less than and now we need to link it to our item stats so we can type stats I don't believe it's called stats textures then so here yeah, it's less than textures dot items is it items yep items dot length so let's search all our items here tick 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 find them all So I seem to have typed the wrong thing there. We need to get this one here, player inventory.grids, this one. 
player inventory dot grids dot length right there. So it'll get the length of our actual inventory. So it'll be searching it. Then we just put y plus plus. And here we'll type if player inventory grids here. And then y dot icon dot name. So we're getting the name of it equals. Then we type our cell grid value one. We need this here in square brackets. And then we can just put icon name after that. There. So we're going to type. We now need to get the hold of our current ID of it. Now this is going to sound a bit weird, but we actually need to put this exact line back in. So basically saying now, if we show you, is if our player the inventory that grids in our for loop, so zero, one, two, three, four. So it's icons that name. So our inventory is icon name equals um inventory that icons dot name but of a different one so a specified one so our specified one here say if we click one our, one in our cell grid equals five then it's going to search this and go tick 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 which one equals five and then by this we set item id equals y as soon as it finds it then we need to stop it by saying y equals 40 that easy in fact we can just put length so y equals that. So that'll stop the for loop. So it'll come down, search. Right, we, we've we already clicked on our grid, haven't we? So say we select apple number two on our cell grids for our shop. It'll come down, which one of our inventory items equals cell grid? So the apple number two. It'll search it, tick, tick. It'll find it, that the two icons are the same. Then it'll say, there it is, hopefully. So let's get a blast. It should load it up and work fine. So as you can see, it's now officially loaded all our inventory. So if we buy something and click buy, it adds it to it. Buy something else, adds it to it. Perfect, it works. So we sell it, but we can't sell anymore. We can only sell what we need. So it works fine. It might lag a tiny bit because we're constantly calling a for loop. But then again, we're not because when we click it, it plays it. The only reason it is lagging is because it's doing the get icons literally every second to show it and it's also doing one up here so it can get a bit laggy but work with it we will eventually make it better so so all the type here is var get id equals and then we'll we need to somehow link to our inventory to get the name of cell grid value and again this is really really easy so we're going to find where it says player inventory or we can just type it player inventory dot grids and then we can put cell grid value in here so whatever we click in our cell will be the exact same in the inventory so if we click number zero in there that number zero will be the exact same as number zero in our inventory so get id equals play dot inventory dot grids dot icon dot name dot string dot split so it should split the string if I wrote that right and then in here we type what we want it to split by so the underscore and then we want to get number zero and the reason we're going number zero is if you go and look at your player inventory or any resources then here don't worry about that error for now right here number zero is the ID of it works perfect so we can cut this bit here and paste it below this and put passing get ID zero so that I believe you don't shouldn't have a comma in there so I don't know actually it comes across item ID now equals convert to integer the name of this which will be the ID so it'll come down run the item ID through it all and it should work fine so I seem to have made a little glitch here so it's not that one so it's not not a string it's just dot split and then in here we need to keep do that one put that in square brackets and I believe that should have no comma so we try it again and it should pop up saying correct well not literally if that works if we click play we should be able to go in it'll get our inventory and we should be able to sell hopefully so if we click on miss scripts so we can see what's here we'll go up and collect something click 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 and we go over here we have items we have iron bar we have three of them we click Q it shows it perfect we want to sell three sell perfect it sold it but yet it's 
it won't stand on more. Perfect, that works. So all that's left to do is now make it so if that equals zero, we get rid of it. Now there are many, many places we could put this, but the easiest place would be female text shop. And the reason is, if we put it in here, we'd have to put it somewhere, it's constantly updating. And it'll lag really badly when we try to do it because we're running a for loop every millisecond. And to put in it item starts, we wouldn't really, we'd have to create new access to the inventory GUI. So the best place would be the female text shop, but to do when take it over there because then it should update it here as well and if it doesn't it don't matter but here this is calling this every time so it should just update it so if we update the player inventory it should change it both so what we can do is here is once we've took the money away so here below here we can type for var z equals zero z is less than I'm just using random letters here I always do for four loops it's pointless to use otherwise so Z is less than player inventory dot grids dot length. We can get rid of the I. That perfect Z plus plus. And in here we'll type Z well not Z player inventory dot grids dot Z but we need an if as well. So if we we are going to use that in a minute, don't worry. But we're gonna copy this one, textures dot player amount. So if textures dot item ID but we don't need that, we need z now dot player amount is less than 1, so if it equals 0 then we're going to set player inventory dot grids dot z and then now we need to change everything to make it equal 0 if it needs to be so we're going to duplicate this quite a bit and type if it equals 0 then name equals nothing so we get rid of it buy price equals 0 so we've got rid of that Sell price equals zero, so we get rid of that one as well. And the ones I'm going down here is if you look at your item stats, these here. Because our um, inventory GUI has these exact ones, as you can see there. And I'm just basically picking them off and getting rid of them. So, player amount will be zero because we took it off. So, desk will equal nothing. Description, that's gone. What else do we have? icon icons the only one left so icon equals and if we set it to null then we're not going to have any icon for it but we always have a blank icon so we need a blank icon so we're going to type blank icon and we're going to create this variable up here because I believe we need to oh no we've already got it fair play we'll use that then so what we have to do is assign that blank icon then if it's less than zero it should by logically get rid of it and the reason we've done it in a for loop and not this this one is if we purchase multiple things at once it this time instead of just going right if this one equals zero take it away it'll search our entire inventory and do it for us why not get a free inventory check out of it basically but if it starts to lag too bad we can just go in and change it so character inventory UI wrong one entity here we need our blank grid so I believe it's called grid this one here grid icon stick it on blank icon and let's try it so we buy something it should work so press Q spin around buy five apples woohoo we've bought five apples now let's sell five well, as you can see our sell button's not appearing so we haven't clicked it there we go click sell boom works perfectly is it in our inventory nope it's gone has it gone from everything uh, apple zero oh dear I don't need to do that it, it works we've done it well done everybody um, don't worry about that that's just a glitch because I dragged it too far so thank you for watching I really hope you liked it any problems comment below please join my Facebook book we're nearly out of the classes now so we can carry on with cool stuff so any suggestions please comment below thank you for watching and see you next time